we are so lucky this morning to have Officer Gina Ibarra and Rosie in studio with us today. And this is the calmest I've seen the dog yes. <laughs> in all the time we spent this together. Is, this is pretty calm for Yeah, her. so I'm thanks surprised. for getting up yes, early this you. morning. So yeah. Well, thank you for having me. I think a lot of people think of bomb sniffing dogs, narcotics dogs, and mm -hmm. think, oh, they must find stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. She's never actually found anything. And when I asked you about that, you were relieved by that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it actually is a big relief. And I mean, we train for it every single day and we're prepared for it, but you know, our day is great when we don't find anything. And, and that, that's a good relief for sure. that. Sure, yeah. and you mentioned that training. So every day, what, what's the routine? What do you guys do? Um, every day we, uh, we get to work, uh, we do our roll call, we hit, we hit up some uh, train stations, uh, some of the L stops, and then we get assigned training days. And with our assigned training days, um, we get to go to different areas within um, downtown Chicago and um, often even Midway and O'Hare and do um, training exercises with our dogs. And it's interesting because you were telling me before that they actually set up mock bombs and then have the dogs go find them, you know, so they're always up on their skills, if you right. will. Right. Um, when we were talking about this, you were talking about your time at Comic-Con mm -hmm. a, a few weekends ago and right. how this little girl came up to you and said, can I pet your dog? Yeah. And, and that stuck out to you, you told me, because you want little girls to be encouraged with the career. Can you talk about that and how Rosie kind of mm -hmm. helps you with that? Right. Um, I, I love the way little kids always come up to Rosie and especially little girls. And Rosie... Um, loves kids and I don't have any kids but she just saw this little girl and this little girl's face completely lit up and I knew that um, she wanted to talk to her and, I, and it's something that I feel like little girls can have a career can grow up can have a, a, a position of authority on, like I do and still be little girls and still be princesses I mean I'm not the biggest princess out there but <laughs> <laughs> but there's little girls out there that are and, and many of the women on the Chicago Police Department are like that and great role models. and they're yeah. great role models and yeah. Rosie gives me a chance to show little girls right. that that they can grow up in that way and it's very interesting everybody you might not know this but um, Rosie's this big bad police dog and <laughs> tell them who she's afraid of oh she's afraid of her two cat brothers she has a <laughs> <laughs> she has two cat brothers at home, Gizmo and Tiger, and uh, they're, uh, they're they're pretty big cats, but they're a lot smaller than her, and yeah. she's just terrified. <laughs> she is complete. She runs away from them. She won't walk past them unless I go with her. They're, oh wow! So she's uh, it, they're, they get along, but yeah. she's just scared of them. Well, <laughs> thank you so much for yeah, coming in. So Rosie was sniffing so nice all over. To meet you. And Rosie, and she was sniffing all over her set, working. <laughs> yeah. if you will. No bombs here on set. No bombs. Clear. Thank set's clear. <laughs> hey, if you're wondering, everybody, it's K9 underscore Rosie on Instagram. Instagram, get those followers up there, you yeah. know? And hey, we do want to mention that next Saturday is the St. Jude Police Memorial March. It is taking place at 8 a.m. at the museum campus, Gold Star Memorial Park. Rosie and all the other department canines will be there along with the Mounted Patrol as well.